Welcome back to Danger and Dice. This is the ghost of a host of the most from the Wellhouse Exorcism, Shanna. I think you're in the wrong place. No, I had a dream <laughs> that I was trying confused. to edit and fix Jack's podcast. And so I was in upstairs somewhere, like in the dining room, but our house was different. And I'm like, everybody, shut up. I'm trying to make this work. And so I would cue the music and I go, welcome back to Danger and Dice. And Jack's like, you're doing it wrong. Everyone shut up. I'm going to try again. <laughs> so it was over and over until I filled up the stupid mixer with recordings. So I just wanted to do that opening because I finally got it right. <laughs> you weren't there in my dreamscape, but it was it was serious. <laughs> By the way, that episode never aired because we never got through it. Well. See, I'm still a little angry over that. It was the same dream that I had a dream that he cheated on me. And he told me he cheated on me. That came after I couldn't get the stupid opening out. <laughs> so it was a double whammy. You okay over there? No. I feel like she needs to lie down. You know, talk to someone. I've been typing on a dissertation. I'm really tired. I only cried three times today at school. She's doing good. It's yeah. really good numbers. I lost my prep period to cover a class, and I lost mm. half of my lunch. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I only like, cried three times today. Anyway, how's everyone doing? Oh, by the way, I'm Shanna. No stopping the slow descent into sadness and madness. It Christmas time is here. <laughs> it's okay. I use dark memes to cover up my depression and anxiety. It's true. I use anti jokes, and I find no more for you. That is true. And I appreciate you for it. Oh, who's here today? I'm PJ. Welcome. Wow. I am feeling honored to be in the presence of a sandwich. I'm Aspen. I think this is why they did not give me the shooter today. It's your DM, Jack. Um, I learned that the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich is peanut butter on both sides and jelly in the middle. I don't understand how one spreads the jelly. I mean, so. I just like peanut butter, so... <clears throat> I love peanut butter, so I just eat the peanut butter. Mm, As someone who's not a big fan of peanut butter, that just sounds like the worst. I'm going to go home and have a scoop. I just make peanut butter sandwiches. I just eat, like, a scoop of peanut butter out of the jar. I dip dip my carrots in there. (gasps) I never opened up that fancy one. Want to try that? Keep talking about it. You know, the the fancy peanut butter is the skippy peanut butter. I have uh, cherry chocolate peanut butter. Choosy moms choose this. Get your fruit out of... I don't like fruit in coffee, and I don't like fruit in my peanut butter. Get you like... Actually, that is wrong. You like pumpkin spice coffee. There's no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice. It's just spice. It's just spices. It's the spice. <laughs> and there are pumpkin flavoring. There's no actual pumpkin. But there's pumpkin flavoring. Mm-hmm. Nope. If you look at it, it just as pumpkin spice because pumpkin spice is a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg and all the stuff you would imagine. I learned that. Cloves. Yes, cloves. Right. Yeah, listeners, we recorded for like an hour, 45 minutes. It was a minutes. beautiful recording. It oh, was so good. I had so much fun. And we lost. All of it. Yeah. We gained a cow. Yes. We gained a cow. I gained the cow. Wait, where are you? I just want to say. Is he, I... He's in a chair now? Yep. Okay. Okay. He's got a chair. He's got a little seat. Comfy. It's funny because like I keep watching the red dot now. I'm like, I know. Yeah, Don't I'm you scared. dare turn up. That's how, I, how, that's how I've been this whole time. Like our our last conversation with Jamie Stegmeyer, I was like watching it the mm-hmm. whole time. You know, if, uh, <sighs> knock on wood, it only happens during D&D. Do you notice that? This is the second time we've lost a and d episode. We lost um, Games Over Well House before? We lost his mic on Wellhouse. That's once. right. We lost a mic. And Games Overboard a couple weeks ago, we lost too. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Anywho. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she's the host sad. with anyway, the mostest. I'm the yes. ghost the host the most. So, a quick. PJ's the co ghost. Yeah. A quick overview of or what host. had happened is you basically had about a week off where you kind of did your own stuff in Edvard's villa. Free place, yeah. Yes. Uh, Good place to meditate. And grow up. I experienced puberty. From Thea's perspective, she was actually working. She was working (laughs) on magic. (laughs) And then was uh, convinced by Emiana to assist in uh, pimping a ride. Retrofitting our car. Yes. Um, Without stealing parts. Exhibit showed up. Yo, I heard you like spinners. <laughs> well, I guess I should go next then. All right. I, so, <laughs> I heard heard you like fixing people. So I have to go back in my notes here because it's very important. I filled so, the whole trunk of Band-Aids. Oh, yeah. We put Band-Aids on the Band-Aids. <laughs> I would appreciate that as a doctor. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my gosh, free, yay. 
Um, so first off, Emiana and Mural become besties. We're playing yep. chess. We're hanging out, talking. So she's my bestie now. I didn't want to make Thea jealous. So I gave Thea a job, which was fixing the car so she wouldn't be jealous. So using some of my money, we reinforced the chassis. And we also added underneath glowing lights with magic. So the under part of my car lights up now. So it really has been pimped. Added to that, I invented something new. I've already made Primo Portrait. All right. But now I have Even Star. It's instead of Von Star. And it's obviously referenced to Lord of the Rings. Anyway, so it's a sending stone that has a little, like, cubby holder, like, on the <laughs> dashboard. And the other sending stone is with Anita. So we can talk to her and ask for directions. So instead of saying Alexa, we say, Anita, Anita. <laughs> it's great. I also have rims that spin. And, of course, it has red hands on it. So the red hands spin. Uh, we also made cruise control, but it's not self-driving, as we learned. Yeah. So we have to be careful. Oh, and didn't we get, like, you know trunk upgrades so we did Darn right we did we did end up adding a little section yeah a little trailer if you will like a horse trailer cow trailer i wanted to have extra space to put more medical equipment instead i'm carrying a freaking cow so it's basically and alcohol that i don't really know about yeah so that's happening but i do want to mention that we also met iraq or candor he is the number two of Atrosaur, mm-hmm. which is why I got the idea to fix the car. So Thea had gone inside the car and was going to steal stuff, and I calmed her down. I said, we don't steal from these people because they're kind of important. So, but we got the ideas from his car. But the one major thing I made a note for is in our last night there at Ed's place, Emiana made a delicious uh, dinner of risotto, filet mignon, potatoes, and, of course, her grape cobbler. And she has a very long conversation <laughs> with her cat. So, my, um, m- I should say sparkles, but, you know, murder mittens. And I were talking and we were talking about people. So, our candor was, like, watching and, like, really horribly, like, worried over our conversation. He's very confused because you'd hear, meow, 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 Hugh. Mm-hmm. Meow, 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 Our candor. Meow, 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 meow. So, he was a little <laughs> upset and a little confused. But regardless, on that last evening, we also had a lovely evening in the the sitting area and we played houses and humans with our can doors to helpers. So Not that two, there are six of them. Well, two of them played. Yeah. Um, so that should be, our, that's going to be our next episode is how they, they got us into playing houses and, um, humans. Oh, is that next episode. It should be one okay. of our episodes because we get to pretend to be, you know, humans with houses. And then <laughs> we hopped in the car and we drove away in a blizzard. So I'm going to stop there. That's all my notes I have. So what did Ed do? I meditated. Mm-hmm. And apparently grew up more. <laughs> you know, I've been, ex- I told you guys I've been maturing. And we didn't believe you, but yes. now we do. And I came out and I was using big grown up words. Yep. And I also made a decision, although I have not sent a letter, but I thought about sending a letter, but I made a decision that I need to have a legacy. So I need a relationship that has a future and children. Not abusive. And. I didn't say that. That's Emmy honest. <laughs> and so it's time to break up with my girlfriend and, uh, you know, actually get someone who's going to help me with my legacy. So you're going to pop out little Eds. Uh, yes. Well, there is one thing. What? When you rolled, you rolled that, yes, you're going to send this letter. And in your head, thought you had sent the letter, yep. had not actually sent the letter. Yes, I know. I said that I didn't yeah. send a letter. Yeah. I thought about sending a letter. I did no, no, not you send. you think you sent the letter. That's so the I letter. wrote a letter. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I wrote a letter. Sorry. You were drinking that night. Was I? Ed uh, was. I, well, he was. <laughs> <laughs> a cow was. <laughs> yeah, cow. Cow. So I think I've let her know. But apparently, I didn't let her know. This is going to so, add to the rom com when she gets jealous of your new girlfriend. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be. And something. she's also an inquisitor. Don't forget you that. You be careful. So the sparks yeah. are going to fly in whips, too. So we got to watch out. Yeah, yeah, Hugh might get the uh, brunt end of this because. No, more than likely, he'll just get a. He'll get a. Um, Wait, isn't contact. she like his boss, 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 boss? She's boss? higher up, so theoretically. Like he, boss, 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 boss. He'll just get like a, a, an official. Uh, thing from Vade to be like, hey, we need you to interrogate this person. And it's just Edvard's new girlfriend. <laughs> She's on the, the um, world's most wanted list. No limits. <laughs> Four years most wanted. <laughs> anyway, what did Hugh do? Hugh befriended a small cow whose name is Rufus. That's right, I forgot how to name. And uh, <laughs> Rufus is also the cow who would sneak into the whiskey seller to drink. 
Uh, so during dinner, Hugh cast speak with animals, <laughs> would slip salad under the table <laughs> to Rufus, and eventually gave Rufus the signal. Rufus left the dining room and kept watch <laughs> while Hugh snuck into the cellar and stole a barrel of whiskey. And, and where did he put this barrel? In the wagon with Rufus, <laughs> so angry. which may not have been the greatest <laughs> idea, but there we have it. <laughs> well, you well, were coming down, you know, off there, of your... There is a little bit more because the one thing you did remember to do is you you uh, you speak with animals to tell Rufus, like, every time we stop, I'll give you some, but you can't just drink out of it while we're driving. <laughs> yep, yep. But didn't you, like, give him a sippy straw? No, 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 there's a cork. That's right. There's, there's a, a cork. cork that he knows how to like. Yeah, he was tugging out. on the cork, but yeah. and he knows how to remove the cork. That's yes. how he's an alcoholic. Yeah, cow. Yeah. So well, what you're saying bovine. is my beef is marinated. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Saves me a couple yeah. steps. <laughs> Whiskey marinated beef. Oh, yeah. I thought it was brandy you got. It is brandy. Oh, yeah, it was brandy. That's right. Yeah, yeah it's, I was wondering. I was about to ask, when did my family brandy. start making whiskey? It's it's like basically we don't double moonshine. distilled. because we got the whiskey yeah. here. Yeah. So it's double. It's basically double distilled brandy. Is that so what you're drinking? Proof. Whiskey? It's um, Makes whiskey you feel better. Yeah, whiskey apple drink. Wh- whiskey like apple, cider. Oh, apple cider. I'm glad you'd know that I would not you like it. You would not, yeah. It I very much say. tastes like whiskey. That's disgusting. All right, so we all drive off. And also... Despite you naming him Sparkles, he <laughs> is Murder Mittens, and he actually keeps adding titles. I know he is. Uh, one of them is Lord of Slaughter, because he kept killing mice. And Lord then he also has been calling himself Destroyer of the Weak. I forgot about that. I like Lord of Slaughter. Yeah. Yes, he went hunting and brought me back a mouse. That was yeah. gross. Oh, like Shanna said, too, he was apparently a DM for humans and households. <laughs> or households and humans, I mean. <coughs> so. Oh, so, there is one other thing that happened that hasn't resolved yet, and Hugh hasn't realized it yet. Oh, boy. Uh, Shanna encouraged uh, Sparkle slash Murder Mittens oh, to yeah! uh, um, travel. Yeah. No. No, he's a spy. Mm-hmm. But he's isn't he spy. traveling he's in the spy other... Cat. He's a spy, but he's not traveling with you guys. Yeah, isn't he in the other oh, guy's he, carriage? He, he hopped into uh, Atrosaur's vehicle. No, he also threw up in your bag. Yeah, shoot. Probably. Yeah. It's going to be nice surprise in a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, that, that's one of those things that never resolved, but it's it's in the egg. Yeah, it's out, the it's out there. Yes. Out so there. what actually happened is as you were driving, you're in a very temperate area and you're like, wow, it's getting kind of cold. So you just turned on the heat. Mm-hmm. Then it's Which isn't colder. very helpful on a Jeep. <laughs> oh, no, no. This one, it is actually. It it's is, in case. It's oh, mine's in case. In oh, yeah. I just always imagine. It's I figured it was like It a... was initially open, but then Thea kept stealing stuff and up armored oh, it. Yeah, I, I always imagine we're driving in one of those like Jeeps you see in Jurassic Park. <laughs> and he was hanging yeah. out the back with a broken leg as the trans- Transformers Rex to Chase and goes, that's kind of uh, No, it actually would probably be closer to the other vehicle from. Jurassic Park, where it's like the... Everything's cl- enclosed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because Thea up-armored it anyway, so she would cover everything over. And she bought every single piece to that, obviously. Yes, and certainly Naturally. was not borrowing it. And Wh- where was she borrowing it from? Uh, at the time, it was when you were... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Were we at camp? Yeah, you were at... You snooze, you lose. Oh, She okay, was stealing okay. it from the motor pool. No, no, no. Actually, I was just thinking about the recent upgrades. Oh, no, those uh, were... We paid for those. Yeah, like the Iroquois. Should... You don't watch it. And it gets taken. It's yeah, your fault. If it gets taken, it's not yours anymore. Yeah. Well, so, and as you're driving, it's colder, so you turn the heat on a little bit more. And then it starts to snow a little bit, and you're like, this usually is an area where you get snow. This is fine. And then it starts snowing harder and harder, and you get to a whiteout blizzard, yep. and you're forced to stop. Yep. Sweet. So, as you stop, Arcandor and his men, do you obviously. Think, do you think Rufus needs a blanket? Is he okay? He's got I mean, a lot of fur. He, I, he might feel warm back there. I don't know how much he's drank, but. <laughs> drank? What do you mean Q? drinking? Drinking water? Uh, oh, um, yes. I gave him some water back then. It was that the water doesn't... warm? It's not going to keep him warm. No, it's, yeah. he, no, it's uh, he just feels like it sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. I warmed the water for him. He's he's a cow and he has yeah. furry, furry. He's a furry cow. <laughs> he's fine. Uh, he is a furry cow. <laughs> yes. Um, Hugh, do you want to sneak off quick and check on Rufus? <laughs> no. No. 
<laughs> well, you go and check well, on them, but everyone notices. Yeah. I very, I very, because it's a it's nat a one. It's a cow. So I, it's I just very like. very snowy. Well, okay. I'm just like, hey, cow. <laughs> okay. Separate check, do a deception check. Deception check? Hey, that's better. <laughs> 14. <laughs> okay, tell me what you guys' modifiers are for insight. You mean passive perception or? No, no, just the, the, the number beside your insight. Seven. Okay. Five. Okay, you both know that you're like, you, you both immediately kind of get in the back of your head. You're like, don't know why he's going back there. I don't feel like he cares enough to check on the cow, but he's <laughs> going back and checking on the cow. <laughs> you, you know that he's probably kind of like, Doing something stupid, but you're not so worried about it that you're like. He comes back. It's fine. Yeah. We get some quiet finally. Finally. <laughs> okay. So how much does you talk when we're not recording? <laughs> um, blah, now obviously, blah, blah. Like, our candor comes over to you guys because you guys have mural and actually that's a good question. Yeah, she's slightly noticeable. This is a good time for Thea to kind of, like, sneak out and, like, come back and join you guys. Like, Mm -hmm. she hadn't been rummaging. That's right. Investigating. Investigating, yes. Um, So, our candor is there, and he said, obviously, he points out the obvious that this is not natural. You noticed that, Arky, did you? Does everyone want to do an Arcana check? I think it's lovely. It reminds me of my time at my home. I wonder if these rings were designed to have inclement weather. Sorry. Halo Nine. Reference. I know. Eight. Hey, I'm better than you. <laughs> well, it's d and <laughs> Our candor, just like, it's unnatural, but you said you got, what, 15, 16? 15. 15. Uh, well, thankfully, you have a wizard with you. It's fine. Uh, the 26 is going to help you. Eh. Uh, these Show like, off. This is definitely, uh, this is definitely magical. I think I should have had advantage since it is kind of home turf. Uh, yeah, if you want to re-roll. That's okay. Thea took care of it for us. It's okay. Thea took care of it for us? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not a spell that was cast. It's not like Sleet Storm, but it's definitely coming from a magical source. That's All right, not so less disturbing. Who can blow lots of wind? We'll just blow it away. Cows? Isn't that how ma- magic works? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. if it was like well. a spell that was creating the snow, yeah, I could use gust of wind or something similar, but I don't think that this is going to work. Would bureaucratic insight help? <laughs> sure. Uh, dig through your law book. Uh, investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try a different dice. You know, I have this ring for <coughs> swimming, but I don't think it's going to be very helpful. Apparently, it's illegal to mess with the seasons, everyone. <laughs> Stop so tilting the axis. This is a lawbreaker. <laughs> 14. Stop. You violated the law. <laughs> Filthy pickpocket. <laughs> your your only insight is that... I was taking a shot. Uh, it, it is it illegal is, AF. It is unlawful to alter seasons without... Direct oversight. Especially of, in an agricultural zone. Yeah. That's one of the big there ones. There goes this year's crop. See, no, was, uh, this is me maturing. I, I mentioned agricultural zones. Some I know poor laws. peasants are like, we angered the gods. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know big words. I, I'm getting mature. Okay. So, our kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that's Pat the, on the shoulder. You can't talk <laughs> anymore. She's too sick. My voice will I change mean, soon. I mean, uh, it's, uh, if I had to guess, it acts more like the effect, like a regional effect from a powerful monster. Mm. <sighs> Sounds like a to kill, kill a monster. But we can't see where we're going. <sighs> so, and we're not in a dream world where I can just, you know, magic this away. Yeah. I, I mean. <laughs> world is easier when you're stuck in a dream there, world. There is two options, is that we try to plow through the blizzard and... Go to the other side and leave it to its own, or we have to hunt down the monster. Those are the options, yeah. Well, I think driving in a blizzard is very unsafe. I didn't yeah. know we packed a plow to plow through this blizzard. I mean... Uh, have you seen the the front end of, the, of my I car? mean, I can't... Yeah, she yeah, does, she does have... catcher up yeah, there. Yeah, she has there. that. I mean, yeah. if, if we technically ripped apart part of uh, Atrosaur's vehicle, we could put a plow on it. Mm. Thea, then they would be in trouble, and we don't hurt people. 
<laughs> Unless they deserve it, and these people are nice. Thea we, is... We played games with them, remember? Thea is just, like, looking at you and blinking, and then it's just, like, the blinking slowly goes out of sync, and then it's just, like, one blink, and then the other <laughs> kind of slowly, like, is absolutely confused by your sentence. I broke her brain. We don't uh, hurt people. She used to be such a good person. Gee, what happened? I wonder who made her the way she is. Yeah, who is teaching her morality? <laughs> I, I try, but it's hard when you guys are having her fix books. I didn't have and her fix books. I, mean, I fixed I mean, the she, book. She, she falsified some of that stuff before she even met us, so... And who asks her to steal things all the <laughs> yep. time? Yeah, I think it, I think it's you. Uh, does. Do you feel an urge to check on a cow she's, right now? She's little, so she's easy. Did to... you have a cow to go check on you? And I'm... now you learn that when you have children, you should not be a, the parent that you currently are. Sorry, what? I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <Will> Farrell. <laughs> Um, I think we should probably go kill this monster, guys. We're not going to make uh, it through. Uh, well, some of uh, us will. God has funny notes. Yep. I'm glad God keeps notes. I forget things. <laughs> I forget only down certain things. God is wondering whether his create... Can I say it? Sure. God it's a lowercase wa- g. Yeah, well, uh, DM God is uh, wondering whether he was a bad parent. Well, he has enough children. Well, he's not even involved in them, so yeah. he, he's not a bad parent. He's so just absent. So that's why I leave this note <laughs> he went, for me. He left to get milk. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's no, he thing. didn't leave to go get milk. It wasn't <laughs> milk. He just never came back. It wasn't milk. It wasn't milk, Q. It I'm wasn't pretty sure it would be the milk from, uh, what is it? It's, um. The drunken cow? No. Um, <laughs> Irish cream. A clockwork cream. orange where it's basically just alcohol. Oh, yes. It's Irish cream. Couldn't remember the name of the book for a second there. Okay. It's Irish. Um, I've had a couple clockwork references recently. But uh, it's really, this is a note so I can think about it later, whether or not Hugh, you know, going out to buy a pack of cigarettes and never coming back is more or less beneficial for his bastards. That mm. That's what this. this Probably better. He'll, he'll meet children who are like amazing and he'll be like, wow, that has half question. my genes. How? I have a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Ed. Would locate object work on a um, creature that I don't know what the creature is. Uh, no. no. I, I was taking a shot. I have a you transmuter would, phone. You so. would need a uh, locate creature. Like, there's a locate animal spell, but you would also need to kind of know what it is. Uh, a better check would be survival and to kind of, like, figure out the location you need to go. Yeah. <laughs> I have this ring of swimming. It's really going to be helpful. So if everyone wants to give me a survival check. Yeah, that's an eight. Oh. I'm a survivor. I'm going to use no. this Christmas one. Whoa, I'm feeling survival-y. <coughs> 21. Ooh, I'm a survivor. I I'm going to make it. Thea got a 16. So oh, wait. I, that was an 11. I had it upside down. Good work. The six. Fair oh. Crazy. It wasn't a six. <laughs> um... Okay. Congratulations. So, Arkandor comes up with the idea of splitting into three parties. Three parties. He's Arky, my boy. That does Hugh, not sound. No. If he takes Mural with him, we know that he is trying to kill her. Keep Mural with us at all costs. Uh, yep. Um, actually, Mural says she's gonna. She can basically because she guard is, the caravan. Uh, she, and the cow. <laughs> the cow. Uh, she man. is gonna stay nah. closer, but she's gonna like look in the immediate vicinity. Um. He's leaving it up to you guys, and by that I mean Edvard, to pick north or south from your uh, check, because you'll get the right answer, because you're better at this than them. And they're going to go the opposite direction. And they're supposed to uh, go for four hours and then come back. Pick the north. That's where Santa is. Do uh, we just come from the south or the north? Uh, you've actually been driving... East, west, not north, south? Uh, it, it's, it would be closer to... East, southeast, so you're just slightly south of east that you've been going. I would say probably if you are wondering, this, the snow seems to actually be lighter towards the north. Then I'm going the opposite direction. Yes, so you'd be heading south. He's a South Pole elf. Do I eat penguins? What's in the south? Penguins. Penguins. Penguins, yeah. Penguin. No, no, so what? Uh, All the mountains of madness are down the there. The pengu. 
Ah. No, there, there was someone who was uh, making a recordings, a, a dragon, a guy who voice acted a dragon named Smaug, dragon. was uh, doing a BBC special on penguins. Aww. He couldn't say it right, so penguins. Ping-wing. I remember that one. Yep. Okay. Right. So you have decided since the snow seems to be heavier in the southerly direction, that's the way you, Edward has decided, Edvard has decided to lead the party. Yes. Really wanted to go see Sian. Okay. Well, see, if we get this done quickly, but and they're just wandering for four hours, and we get this done in under four hours, we can ditch them. Okay. That's right. Everyone, except for Hugh, <laughs> I know, I pay attention to your abilities, by the way. Uh-huh. Give me either a dex acrobatics or strength athletics check, because you're going to be going through a lot of heavy snow. I feel acrobatic. <laughs> You don't have to because you can go over difficult natural yep, terrain. Yep. Mm-hmm. I can fly for a minute at a time. So, um, so I'm doing. Uh, you said uh, athletics. Athletics or acrobatics, whichever is better. I am falling on my butt. Ten. I'm falling on my butt. Thirteen. I'm falling on my butt. Very strong. Fly Thirteen. Over there, Rio. I'm Eight. falling on my butt. <clears throat> Five. With a plus three, by the way, that's with a plus three. I'm like a woman on a tampon commercial. I'm doing like <laughs> cartwheels and skipping. And... They really are rather energetic. <laughs> really yeah. those commercials. Hugh is Hugh news. was having zero problem. He's just like he's all but like ghosting across the top of the snow, and you guys are like trudging. I want to say I'm that. not trudging. I'm rolling like yeah. like a panda bear. I'm less trudging than maybe I'm 13. Just saying. <laughs> well, you know, but what about panda bears? I mean, I'm rolling yeah. like a panda bear. Maybe that's a really efficient way to travel through snow. And Thea's having a bad time because it's basically up to her chest. I figured I would just put Thea on my shoulders. So I'm doing a 13 right now because I have to carry her and myself through the snow. So she's going to realize that this is not effective. So she and she's also cold. Thea, get in my bag where it's warm, or else you're going to get super super hungry. You're cold-blooded, sweetheart. Whose bag got puked in? Yes. Hugh. Okay, good. She's not about to get in. Because she was about to climb on Hugh's shoulders. Because he is not having problems climbing. Oh, yeah. Thea, come here. Come here. <laughs> I have a nice bag for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to do a con check. Well, she doesn't throw up in your bag. She's certainly not happy about it. So she's throwing random stuff out of your bag. Hey, what, 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 what are you doing? Uh, uh, it, it smells in here. Why? She literally like I... shuffles it around and puts it near your nose. Oh, no. Do a constitution saving throw. <laughs> DC 15. <laughs> it's a four. Uh, you guess, guess who does throw up in the uh, snow? <laughs> this is why. Strawberry snow. <laughs> So she like literally just takes her own coat and turns it like a papoose on you and oh. it's just like hanging oh. off of you. Not even hung over. <laughs> you need to clean that I, out. I pack it with snow and just like start shoving snow into the bag. Do you want me to heat that up for um, you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just. So, so she like. Rinse it. <laughs> she uses prestidigitation to like m- to melt the snow really fast. And then she uses a uh, firebolt to like boil the water real fast. <laughs> Excellent. No, that should do it. I and then she just presentations all the stuff she'd thrown out to clean up. I wish that I could help you, but I just don't understand how your bag got so dirty. What did uh, you do? I, I don't either. Oh, it's a mystery. It's almost like you deserved it. Wow, karma. Anyway, let's go oh, ahead. Oh, and- hold, 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 hold on. Hold, what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what? Anywho, and I just <clears throat> keep trudging through the yep. snow. Uh, you're making very, very... I go back sl- to walking. <laughs> you're making very slow progress. Well... Emiana and Edvard are making slow progress. I'm having. She a was just time, walking circles say. around them. He's like scouting around. He he's doing his thing. At this, I'm rolling like a panda bear, which gives you very little control on your direction. But it's very fun. Yes. Okay, so uh, you're doing this for about half an hour. Give me another athletics or acrobatics check. Oh my God, am I exhausted at this point? That's what we're trying to avoid. Sixteen. Okay, you're good. Ah! I have... I, I'm feeling my endurance kick in now. I don't want to be embarrassed by Hugh and do worse than you. Yeah, don't worry, you won't. Edvard is now just... Has stopped rolling and is just doing snow angels. Oh, well. <laughs> it's nice to see that he still has a playful background. I mean, he he was adulting a little too long. The problem is he thinks he's actually swimming in the snow. Of course he is. Of course. Did I say tub-tub time? No. Oh, good. No. I have the ring of swimming, not you. 
No, remember, I have the bucket. I know, but you don't want to yeah. do that. So, he, to you guys, it looks like he's just making snow angels. Edvard thinks that he's actually swimming in the snow. Hey, guys, what do you call a snowman with abs? What? The abdominal snowman. Ah. Okay, uh, Edvard, give me a uh, constitution saving uh. throw. From that joke? Yeah, I, I agree. No, to avoid getting uh, a level of exhaustion. Thirteen. I'm energetic. You, you're. You did it well enough that you're not getting a level of exhaustion. Yay. That would be bad. Those create problems. So, you make so you you make progress. It's not great progress, but you do keep making <laughs> progress. I don't make progress. At I, this point, can I just drag him. That's what they basically start doing is dragging you. So they're dragging me, and I'm just kind of doing. Yes. Okay. Okay, now you're going to get into the part where, it, at this point, you've been going for about an hour, hour and a half through difficult terrain. Give me one last athletics check. Just you or me too? Uh, Emiana, you get advantage. Do I get an acrobatics option? Yeah, you can get acrobatics instead. I'm going to go with my Christmas one. Again. 19! And I feel refreshed! <laughs> Thank God for this. All right, and you said advantage. And yeah, because you, you passed oh, the yeah. one. yeah, 16 plus 3, 19. I just keep going up by We both had 19. Two 19s. Yep. So basically... Well, because I'm dragging you. <laughs> so I had to run faster she can go. Basically, I gave you <laughs> advantage now. because you had been working through the snow and you'd been, like, getting better at doing it. So you're more likely to succeed. At this point, Edvard realized that his swimming approach has not worked. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he stands up. So he and, decides to stand. <laughs> and he realizes that... Like, if he slides slightly when he steps, he doesn't sink in because he's a little bit lighter of weight. Nice. I'm basically doing he's heelys in the Legolas. snow. Legolas. Legolas walks on top of the snow. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. I was going to say, it's Find closer, your elf self. It's closer elf. to Dune where they, like, s they step slide no, across the No, no, it's Legolas. It's Legolas. Sure. It, it, if Legolas bring has out, snow. Bring out that elf in you. So, you <gasps> have... I'm about to get sexy. I mean, you already are. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. To Isengard. It okay. only counts as one. Now, what do we see? As you're going along, <laughs> I, you the realize hobbits, that... The hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits. <laughs> this, obviously, the snow has been piling up because it's basically closer to the center of the storm, so there's more snow. And really? then... Hmm. You end up actually seeing what appears to be an area where the snow just stops. Dun, dun, dun. I just have the song stuck in my head. Do you now. think it's a snow dragon? Uh, I want a snow dragon. I... We're not. No, it's just gonna. Yeah, everyone, give me an arcana check. It's just gonna try to eat us. No, it's not. It likes me. Me too. That's okay. Seventeen. Why? What's this arcana? Uh huh. Ten. Eleven. Seventeen. Edvard immediately recognizes it. Hugh and Emiana are just like, huh, that's weird. That's not normal. <laughs> no, we're talking about how it could should be a dragon. It's totally a dragon. It's not a dragon. It should be a dragon. Or if it is, it's just going to eat us. What, what is it? Um, I seek I seek cosmic Edvard, dragon. you've dealt with a lot of, well, between Atrasar and the way they kind of like climate control buildings and as a cleric are used to magic. You realize that you're entering an area that is actually being magically, like the climate's being controlled. Where basically now you're, at, there's basically just a zone where. Of the truth. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, more like a zone that is. Cone of silence. Magically set up to be like a certain temperature and a certain type of like meteorological phenomena. So you realize that this place is. All right, break out a your magical penis. zoo? More like you're entering as. Uh, Atrasar uses it to basically air condition their buildings to okay. keep it at that perfectly frosty 68 degrees so everyone is at their peak work. Okay. This is more like it's keeping it above freezing, but not by a lot. It's about like 43-ish degrees, 40. So don't put on your bikinis. Okay. No. But it is also clear weather. In this so small area. Yeah. Did we miss the item? Animal? Uh, this, everything is leading to the center. Okay, I'll so. say we do some investigations. And. I, I People, mean, let, I, I think we should look around. Let's investigate. Okay. 
That's a very grown up thing you said there, Ed. I learned I learned new vocabulary words daily. <laughs> Dude. I found this nifty new app. <laughs> Learn new words daily. Come up with a name. You're the app namer person. Well, hold on. Investigation, or am I doing it? Whoa, I'm really on a roll, man. Perception, what should I roll? Uh, perception or... Dirty 20. Investi- okay. 18. I'm investigating. <laughs> You're looking for a dragon, Hugh. It's okay. It's five. <laughs> it's definitely it's a, a dragon. It's a freaking five. <laughs> Are, are you okay there? It's a dragon. Um, I... <gasps> if, it, if, it's a, wait, if he thinks it's a dragon, is he going to grab Thea and start trying to offer it as a baby? Like, here's your baby. Take it back. We don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say that the reason why Thea's role is pretty low for an investigation is she's on your back and you keep saying, there's got to be a dragon around here. And she's like, I'm the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are we looking for other dragons who have dragons? You have a dragon. That's what I am. Aww, that's so wholesome. So, one of these days we're gonna get you an encyclopedia or something and show you show you what a dragon. She is, is a dragon. Just a, she's gonna. Oh, we can talk about this later because she's not. She's literally she's right here. She can hear everything a, you're saying. She's not she a is going to. I don't cast. understand why you're whispering. She's right between us. She's casting a uh, dragon breath on herself and is now <laughs> spitting a stream of acid. <laughs> <laughs> Just to prove she's a dragon. <laughs> see what happens when you're mean to your children. You see this? <laughs> oh, do a deck saving throw. Yes, I watch out. Son <laughs> of a. Banana? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> you only take three points of acid damage as you're like slightly splashed. This is freaking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I perceive when I rolled my 20 perception? Um, Here, Edvard, let me roll and find out. <laughs> Eleven. Edvard and Emiana see <laughs> there is a set of buildings Oh, plus six, 17, actually. That are actually set up more like... Uh, it looks kind of like a couple of outbuildings that are kind of like around each other. Outhouses, it, okay. Uh, they're fairly small. I would say more like, not barns, but more like large sheds. And there's like, there's Lux three of them. outhouses. Yeah, there are she three sheds. of them. Um, not this again. Last time we were a she shed. Oh, wait, I petted doggies. Um, <laughs> One of them... You, you can see that the door is open and it just kind of, you can kind of glance inside. It's dark, but you kind of just... I have dark vision. I also have dark vision. What you see is just like, it looks like some, just some crates stacked up. Do they have love written on them because they were near an open no, door? They're not that. <laughs> we all have dark vision. Yes. The other one very is, dark visions. Uh, the next building is... Just the door is closed. It's like very, it's like quick up kind of building. Like, you know. Oh, I'll take that, take that door out. <laughs> and the third <laughs> building is the largest, but it also looks like it's the one that was designed to be the strongest. So it has like sturdier walls and a Does much sturdier door. Does it have fences? Door. No, but it ha- seems, appears to be much, much it's sturdier. Is the first one made of hay? Second made of six? Third no. made of brick? <laughs> uh, the first two were made out of like a quick frame and like corrugated metal. Okay. And the third one is made out of, like, more solid block. Brick? Are there windows in uh, these buildings? More like a uh, concrete block. Uh, there are windows in the corrugated metal ones, but it's more like just kind of like holes with, where they have clear corrugated uh-huh. metal on them. Yeah. There's windows and walls? The, thir- the third building does not have any windows. Dang it. I would like Emiana to go investigate the first of the sheds. The open one? Okay. Yes. Investigation, yeah. Just simple investigation. Hey, hey, Hugh and Ed, I'm going to go into this first one here and see what's in the crates. Okay, okay be careful, because <laughs> whenever I look and have vision in the dark, I see 60 feet. That's a lot of feet. I'm going That's for that gross, first yeah. door. Okay. That's where um, I'm going. 17. Um, I'll get yours in a second. Uh, you're going up to the door. Are you going to investigate the door or investigate, like, look through the windows? Oh, I'm just going to kick it He's down and investigate strength, after. Strength I want to go up to the door. third door. Okay. The big one. Okay. I'm knocking like a civilized human being. Okay, we're going to resolve that one last. 
22 against yeah, that's the door. Yeah, right. Take you the door just, out. You kick it. And it's <laughs> only double-digit roll so far. And because you do such a good job, you immediately, like, it's like breaching clear, like you're like yep. the military. You kick it in, you look around. There is, like, two cots and, like, two armoires, okay. like, and, like, a couple of foot lockers. Is anything glowing? No. Good. Now, in yours, you as you're examining these chests, you see a bunch of... Uh, the materials don't make a lot of sense to you, but... He there's... said crates first, then, then chests, and I'm like, well, Emiana is a doctor. Uh, <laughs> Let me get my stethoscope. <laughs> well, crates, there's there's a couple of chests along one side, and inside Wait, it's the... a crate of chests? No, crates and chests. The crates, they all appear to have, like... I'm going to need my otoscope and my very, otoscope. They are filled with, um, like large like jugs of very very clear water oh i thought i gonna say booze and i was like I can't. no he nope. said jugs it's not all boob jokes this is actually but, but it was yeah. oh man why can't why can't you be in that building and he doesn't need any tools to investigate this just his hands the more interesting thing is in like the the more secure, like. So wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Time out. This is very, this is very important. I know that you are like on it, and you would be a great DM. But I just have a serious question. Yes. You're telling me that Emiana goes into an open door, and puts her hands in chests, and then, and then finds some really nice jugs. How many stethoscopes does she need to do an effective job as a doctor? Well, and one, how big are the jugs? Like D, double D. You did not check the chest. You checked the crates. Oh, the crates have the jugs. All right. That's what I'm saying. Is the crates have basically jugs of very purified water? Okay, so we haven't checked. I haven't touched the chest. I just touched no. the crates. There's two of them, and they're along the side wall. Oh, one of those is gonna be a mimic. I can feel it. All right, so I would like to investigate the water. I don't want to sip it, but I want to see if it's like magical. You said it's very clear. Yeah. Water is clear. <coughs> and my investigation roll is a 19. Uh, you're actually very familiar with this because it's something that you have dealt with before as a doctor. Okay. This is like several times purified and distilled. This is, basically there's nothing in this that is not perfectly H2O. It's, it's heavily purified water. Now, as a doctor, you would use it for, you know... For sterilizing and using during surgery. Sterilizing and also for, like, mixing with medicine so that there's nothing counteractive. Well, I'm going to keep this. But um, and I'm going to go look at the chest first. I am she's, going she's the to jugs. roll a perception check to see if the yeah. chest is going to hurt me. Uh, my perception is a 21. Do any of them seem off or weird? Nope. And they're not... <laughs> upside down. They're, I call them chests, but they're probably closer to, like, Any foot lockers. Like, you know, like, kind of, like, military hard boxes. Uh, they are unlocked. Uh, they are not moving or breathing. In fact, they're filled with... Um, You're the one who gave him whiskey, okay? You. She's the one that gave him whiskey. The cow! The cow did it! Okay. Um, you open it up, and... You know what these are, but you don't know what they held. Um, okay. Basically, inside is like a foam lining with cutouts, which you've are used they before. Silicone cutouts? No, uh, you've used it before for like medical equipment that's very like prone to being knocked or bumped or broken. Whatever equipment was in this is <laughs> delicate and also very expensive. Apparently, they're broken. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, how's your day going? Oh, it's it's good. It's good. Um, ready for Christmas and Hanukkah? Hanukkah, uh, yes. Christmas, no. Yeah, Hanukkah. I got my box out, ready to put my menorah. I, out. I saw that yes. actually. Ready to go. Uh, I think I might take a dreidel in for the kids to play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Can't trust the kids, but we'll see. Uh, oh, are you good? Are you good? Yeah. All right. So the foam, the, obviously there's a shape there, but there's nothing in there yeah. anymore. Whatever was in there has been moved out, but this is like... Can I tell by the shape if it's like a gun or something? Like a um, weapon? No, definitely not a weapon of some kind. It looks okay. more like... If you had to guess some sort of like equipment or instruments, not like musical instruments, but more like, you yeah. know, scientific instruments, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm taking all the water. 
Um, there are crates of it, so... I'm, she's still taking all of it. I'll figure she's it out. Buff. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Fair. Don't underestimate Emiana. I'm thinking about chugging a bottle because I had to drag it halfway here, so I'm a little thirsty. There's a lot of snow. There's a lot of water. You are surrounded by water. But this you... is highly distilled so... water. Not vodka distilled. <laughs> so, while you are finding pertinent information, you're smashing down doors. Yep. Edvard knocks. Yes, it seems polite. Wh- wait, wh- who who are you? Atrasaur, open up. Do I hear this? Um, go ahead and give me a perception. Check. <laughs> no. Eleven. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> no. No. <laughs> you're some right. grumbling. I because st- I know that your stealth is at least a plus two. Plus three now. Oh, yeah. Mine's a negative one. Well, I was going to say, it, <laughs> it's as if she was, I based on how loud she is based on her natural <laughs> stealth. Then so, I am super loud all the time. Yes. <laughs> um, My no, carries. you don't hear this, Hugh. Wait, what, what, why is that so here? Open up. Let's talk about it. You hear some hushed murmuring, like murmuring. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the other building over, I'm, I'm like opening up the foot lockers. Me too. I'm like, look at these chests. Um, this place is you, surely abandoned. You see um, some just like clothes, some personal effects. All right. You see a very... I'm just kind of tossing on the floor. like <laughs> um, At the bottom of the one foot locker, you find a book. Okay. Um... Aren't you supposed to get magic shoes at a Foot Locker? Bad. No. Yet. Uh, very quickly, uh, give me an Arcana check with advantage. Okay. Really, Goodbye. any intelligence check will do this for you, but you literally just need to break a 10. Hey, yeah. 13. You get that it's a spell book. Okay. And then you can start, you'll start tossing the other one. And you also see some clothes. This one you see, um... Does he see any clothes that he wants? I don't think they'd fit him because they're fairly Are there any slight. photographs? No, <laughs> there aren't any rules. <laughs> any photographs? <laughs> no, because he's at Isengard. Um, I mean... No, he's not. The, the hobbits second, are at Isengard, but the not second set of thing. clothes are would be really tight on you, but they are they're both definitely sized for like you know. Human. If he gets them and puts them on, is he gonna start being singing about how he's too sexy for the shirt? The first one, if you're wearing it, you're basically gonna Hulk out of that thing because it's very slight. Okay. The second one, I mean, it would be real tight because you're <laughs> kind of muscular. Gotcha. <laughs> and up. also, you find it. It's definitely a component pouch for a wizard, but you can tell that it's old and probably more like something that he kind of keeps on to for sentimental values as opposed to actual, like, okay. use. I take that. Okay. <laughs> so you took the spell book and the, yep. and the component pouch. Okay, yep. mark that down. Um, and the really Also, quickly write down UZA next to the uh, book. That'll be for my notes more than yours. Uza. Uza, yeah. It, it, it'll just cross-reference my own notes. So while she's knocking and having a conversation, I come out and I go, Oh my gosh, you won't believe all the water I found in jugs in these crates. <coughs> Give me Should a perception I... check, quick. Okay. I think I used up all my good rolls, so we're in trouble now. Perception is plus eight, like I said. Yep, nope, neither of you hear us. Wait, what, why is Atrosaur here? Open up and we'll talk about it. This isn't... This isn't your leagues. You can get out of here. I'm coming in. At this point, I'm walking out of the and I say, my building. Okay, now give me another set of perception checks. I'm going to Hugh, I'm like, Hugh, look at my jugs. <laughs> I got book. <laughs> and, and I whistle. Do they hear my whistle? I can tell you who doesn't hear your whistle, Thea. That's 12. great. I got a 12 as well. Hey. Did they hear my whistle? No, yours is still technically 13. 
So how's it going? Actually, to you? now you if find? you shout, oh, well, yeah, no, uh, so I don't hear anything. Yeah, it says yo, UZA. On UZA. It. Oh, what? Yo, mm. sorry. Right. Yes, would what? you like some water? Come here. Okay. Here. <laughs> here. 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 Hugh, you see this door? Hugh. <laughs> you see this door? <laughs> yeah. It needs to go bye bye. Hold mm. on, hold on. Who who's behind the door? Is there they a, won't let me in. No one they're in very rude. Did you say hello? Wait, there are people here. Yeah, they're very rude. Oh, what did you oh. say? wait, wait, wait. I asked them hold to on, please open on. up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <coughs> hold on. I wouldn't. Hello. I wouldn't. Hello. I wouldn't. Uh, uh what's your AC? Eighteen. Uh, as you say that, you kind as you're like talking about this, right next to your head, a from behind you. A ray of icy cold barely misses your head. Ah, oh my. Uh, and standing behind you is now a wizard who looks very unhappy. Wait. Hold, hold. You took his jugs. Hold, hold on. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we thought this place, <laughs> well, or at least I thought this place was abandoned. Um, Hugh, shh. Hello, wait, sir. No, wait, Hi, wait, 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 wait. Get out of here Do now. You, well, hold on. Uh, and I pull out my repair tools. We represent I, Al- I Al- knocked out one of your doors because, again, Hugh, I thought this Hugh, place Hugh, was Hugh, out of here now. I would like to Hugh, fix your door. Stop. I, you can get out of here now. Hugh. Okay. Is this yours? Hugh. And I hold up the book. Hugh. Are, are you Uza? <laughs> Uza Lord, they stole your book. Uza. Stole your spell book. Hugh. What? what? Hugh. What did you. <laughs> Hi, we represent. The Hi. lollipop. Oh, no. I'm from the League of Caledon. I'm from Atrosaur. And I have to say, I'm really interested in these jugs of distilled water. And I saw that you had some footlockers of equipment. Are you in need of a doctor? I also had questions about your permits. Because I'm something of a doctor myself. <laughs> you may have heard of me. I'm the duct tape wizard. And I just been ch- uh, coming out to check if your permits are in order because you seem to be messing with agricultural zone uh, weather. <laughs> Play your law book. That's what I have. You have it in front of me? <laughs> You're messing with agricultural zone weather. Um, I came to talk to you about this. More so, though. Do Chapter 5, Article doctor? 19. Subsection wow, A. Wow, <laughs> He knows his stuff. He's an inquisitor. That's right. Ooh, the Lord, we're just going to have to kill him. That, that's, no, that's not what, what? I was saying what at all. What are you from? <laughs> Look, just take the stupid book and I throw it at him. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, I you can't take my book. No, it's my book. The, oh, okay. the spell book. Well, what I have my book are out. you from? Uh, you see he's already starting to try to cast a spell, so you're all going to roll initiative now. <sighs> well, oh, boy. he's not Uza. I got that. God, son of a... Language. Ah, ah, I got that. I got that That, that part. I can't read that. It's, it's a naughty word. Oh. oh. I, I got, got the naughty 14. word. Six. Do I still add to mine? Yeah. Two. Two. Oh, well, that uh, no, would be a. I guess. That would be one. Actually, it'd be a four, but. How's it a four? Because isn't your dex plus three? So your initiative is plus three. Oh, that initiative is. Yeah. And then you oh. would add it to plus one. So it's a four. But yeah, that's still terrible. So, no, I'm saying. So did this change? Yes. Okay, cool. So, uh, hey, Emiana, this is something you've never done before. I know. You're first in initiative. I know. Super so, oh, wow. <laughs> there is a wizard about 45 feet behind you. I would like... Since to... you're all at the door. Don't take this from me. I'm very excited. I would like to immediately cast Radiant Soul so I'm flying. Okay. Okay. Guys, this is bull crap. And I light up and I look beautiful. I'm like, These guys need to die if they're not going to listen to reason. Look at my beautiful wings. Place and... his head off. Shh. Do not take this from me. <laughs> and I am going to use my... Axe, obviously. Let me get my stats for my axe. There we go. I'm going to use my axe of throwing as I'm flying in the air with my radiant soul. Okay? Yes. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh-huh. And how far away is he from us? 45 feet. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's been a while. There it is. Uh, 24. That's going to hit. That's right. Darn right it is. Uh, seven points of damage. Uh, yeah, you solidly hit him pretty hard with it. Hey, Hugh. Do you want to see me do it again? Heck yeah. I'll do it again. Okay. 19. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> 11 points of damage. 
Oh yeah, that 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 hurt. That hurt bad. Oh, and you're still with everyone else right now. And here. when I do my attack, I cause radiant damage. Oh yeah, eight points of that. Okay, so you're still with everyone else in the party, though, right? I yeah, I'm just close enough that they can have my. Uh, I'm ten feet above them, okay. so they get the R of protection, and the R of warding. So don't forget that um, you have. You can add plus four to your saving throws, and you also have resistance to damage from spells. He's a wizard. Yep. Cool. Okay. Okay. So next is Thea. She is not leaving huge shoulders, but she's decided she's watch. Well, she's going to cast a spell, and then climb off your shoulders. She's going to cast Arcane Fortification on you. Oh. As she's climbing down, she slaps you on the ass, says, get in there, champ. (laughs) And jabs you with a syringe. I've been waiting for this my entire life. (laughs) Get in there. So now you have a plus two to attack rolls and damage rolls with melee weapons. With melee, okay. Yep. And you advantage on strength saving throws and strength skill checks. And your jump height is is doubled. So can I cast a spell, then move and attack? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I just spell's a bonus action for you, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So. Well, it's not your turn yet, but that's, dang it. that's what Thea does Okay. she climbs down. Unfortunately, it is the wizard who is now angrily glaring at all of you. And he's going to go ahead and cast Dawn. Dawn. You're not going to like this Dawn. at all. Well, one of you is going to hate this. And is it one Dawn of you is gonna... as in like Sunrise or Dong? Dawn, as in sunrise. Okay. Uh, light shines down on a location you specify within range, so basically right near the door. I look wonderful. 30-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder of bright light shimmers there. I'm this light is it. sunlight. Cylinder appears. Each creature in it must make a constitution saving throw. <sighs> saving throws add four, too. Yep. It's, it's going to be your saving. Grace, add four. And I have the transmuter stone, right? So yes. Thank God I was able to add four plus my thing. I got a ten with all of that. Oh. oh. What if I told you I rolled a nat 20 plus You're four. fine. Mm-hmm. I am feeling the love of this light, guys. Oh, feels you're so bad. 23 you're, for me. Okay, so uh, this side of the table is getting messed up. Well, I feel I bad. rolled a three. <laughs> oh. Three. You added, okay, you added, and four. added a four and my three. Well, you have resistance to damage from spells. So, what we'll does ta- that mean? Okay. Um, Roll the damage and then tell me what I don't get. Yes. <laughs> I'm a celestial champion. Well, the damage is super low anyway. Huzzah. Uh, since everyone takes. Well, I feel, you, I feel good. Like, I feel like I'm getting a bad. You take three points like of damage. All right. Uh,. Ed, Edvard and Thea both take six points of damage. Oh, that's not too bad. No. Uh, considering it could have been up to 40, yeah, no, it's it, not bad at all. It's a little sunburn. Exactly. It's worth it. And also the area is bright light now. Can I have a free action? I look up to the heavens and I go, Daddy? C- can I have a free action? <laughs> please, please, please. Go ahead. Harder wizard, Daddy. <laughs> Does he take negative psych damage? I'm... <laughs> Never had to do this before. Okay, so um, <laughs> that was. I, I think he takes psych damage. I'm I'm taking psych damage. You see someone like blink into uh, well, it's the spell misty steps. You just see a guy like kind of appear. I have that. Forty five feet, like so. If the first wizard who just dawned you is basically to the west of you guys, this guy's to the south of you by about forty five feet. And he Where'd he is go? Where'd he go? going to, because he only cast a cantrip now, is going to cast. Oh, hey, he's going to hit the flying person. He's going to try to cast the spell Firebolt on you. It's not very nice. I've seen And that. he's going to miss. <laughs> Good. You know, it's the light. It's too much light. It's burning his eyes. I get it. I guess so. Uh, next left. up is you. I'd like to point out I've taken I've taken a photo. I did take a photo. Oh, thank you. Click. I totally forgot. I'm so thank you. Oh, Thea. Thea didn't get her turn. It, oh, it was, yeah, it was, it was just stunning and beautiful, and I'm waiting for my turn. So I'm like, click, click. I mean, this is just like astral projection right here. How far is this guy with About 45 feet. Somehow, you look stunning with the snow. Somehow make if you it use look a throw weapon, the dark hair. Yeah. Imagine blonde hair, but the dark hair really does. Yeah, no, it shines in such a way. Yeah. 
So uh, you have one that wizard that's kind of beaten up and is casting a giant radiant dawn around you. I'm and loving it, by the way. I draw my great sword. Okay. It's a really nice sword. I cast, well, I cast eye on target. Okay. Eye on target. Uh, eye on target. And then I throw the great sword. Ooh. Is that wow. melee? What? Is that kind it's of melee ca- then? I, you also have knives and stuff, but you <laughs> but know. Can, it's I, you. I, he can throw the sword. Th- throw the sword. I'm okay with this. It's you. Yeah. Which one are you <laughs> aiming for? Uh, the wizard that's already injured. Okay. So that's a 25. Okay, well, because it's not designed to be a throwing weapon, what I'm actually going to do is make you roll not with advantage, would be with disadvantage and advantage, so I'm just going to make you roll it as a normal attack. A normal attack? Okay, so that would still be a an 18. That's going to hit. Okay. <clears throat> so roll the damage with, oh, yeah, with a plus two as well, so. So 2d6 plus four, so plus six. That means it's four. Yeah. Seven plus six. Thirteen. 13. Yeah, that definitely hurt. He's still alive, but he has to, uh... Check his concentration? He he makes his constitution saving throw. God. God. Well, I mean, I don't mind. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And did you advance any, or are you still in the light? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna move forward towards him. Okay. I actually kind of picture my head like I was running at him and used that momentum to throw the sword. Okay, that works. So you're outside of the zone of light now. I'm staying in the light. I mean, I, th- I thought this was made for me. It's like a spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I is my moment. Vo- I, I got to go voguing. first. I am. She's voguing and I'm taking photos. I'm voguing yeah. it so hard. This is the catwalk. I'm like, I am oomphing it, man. Hard. Edvard, it's your turn. Okay, so I look at the dude. Wizard dude. Because I'm annoyed Don't know his him. name. And I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. So I just make a melee spell attack, and I, if it hits, I am going to, uh, whatchamacallit, Channel Divinity. Okay. Which one are you aiming for? The wizard. They're both wizards. The one in front of us. The one that made the light. Okay, the one that made the light. Because I thought the other one's to the side of us. That's fair. He I disappeared mean. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. Seventeen. That's gonna hit. <gasps> Yay! Boop, 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 okay, boop, so uh, so sixteen plus twenty. Well, sixteen kills him. So oh, okay, so I don't need to waste that. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. The the whip of Centaur comes down and just rakes right I'm across. Sorry, your light cracks. Like right across his face, and it's like when it rips back, it just like rips out, like rips his like entire torso up and he just drops and the light goes out i'm still lit uh, up but i'm screaming up but i'm screaming up to her i got photos thank you and i'm still lit up on my own so emiana it is your turn and there's one dude where to us uh 45 feet south of you south okay so I that dude was south no he was west the one that you just killed was west so i was gonna use my sword but that's melee right yep. and so he's not in melee uh, i can fly 30 feet but that yeah. counts as my movement then Yes. So I still can't attack. You could you could fly and throw your axe, but yeah, that's about it. Well, I can throw my my axe with disadvantage yeah. at sixty feet. Okay. So I guess I will use the axe. I was going to use the sword. Regardless, mm-hmm. I'm going to cast divine smite. Okay. On him, um, and I'm still flying, so that radiant damage will work once I roll this. Yep. So yeah, it says thirty slash sixty. So I guess sixty is with this with disadvantage. Yep. Well, you better roll well, here. Okay, so there's that number, 18, and then, is that a 15? So, regardless, I think I'm going to hit because that's a plus 7. So the that's going to hit. 22, yeah. yeah They're here. wizards. They wear clothes and mage armor. They do. Um, all right, so D6, 4 plus 5 is 11. Nope, 4 plus 5 is 9. I can math. <laughs> what did you say? 4 plus 5 is 9. Yes. Do you want to see me do it again? Yes. Okay. And then I'll do the rating damage afterward. Okay. Okay, that one is a 16. Christmas, good job. That one is a 17. So 16 or 17 you plus 7. Yeah. All right. Haha. Ha. 6 plus 5 is 11. Yep. And then I get my divine smite. Yep. And it's 2d8 still for me, yep. correct? Oh, these are d6. For our first level spell spot, yes. 
I'm going to use Christmas because I can. I don't have two. Oh, here's Christmas. Sweet Christmas. Three at 710. How ouchy is he? Oh, he's real ouchy. <laughs> Oh, oh I won't waste don't, a spell. Don't on. forget, I also have eight points that ha hit him for uh, radiant damage. Ouch. Yeah, he he's he's super ouchy right now. So that was nine plus eleven. So that's you did 20. thirty-eight points of damage total. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is my moment. I have been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thea is just going to be real weird for once. She's just going to use her own version of Misty Step because she sees how cool it is. And she's been around Hugh too long. She just wants to stab him. Nice. I wonder if we should, like, keep him alive and ask questions. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure the knife is not going to work anyway. All right. Just tell we, the person next to him and just... We non-lethally take him out. Well, it's his turn. So and, well. um... <laughs> it's okay. I have a plan. How do you say non-lethally? I have a plan. Emiana, give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay, well, you know. I have, I get to add four to that, so, so I'm not very wise. No. <laughs> Eleven. That's going to fail. You now, in your, <laughs> he casts a spell, Phantasmal Killer, and in your brain, what you're seeing, actually cast it as a level five spell, too, um, you're seeing all the worst nightmares attacking you. I wish I had a level five spell. Uh, you're not going to like this next part. So I'm, I'm seeing all the bad things attack me. Yep. What would be the worst thing that she'd be seeing? She hates clowns. <laughs> but what would she be seeing? Man. Sick people she can't help. And you take 20 <laughs> points of psychic damage. Ooh. <laughs> Tell the spiders <laughs> to stop attacking. <laughs> They're basically, you basically are in your mind covered in giant spiders biting you everywhere. <laughs> You make it stop the spider. But hey, on each of your turns, you get to try to rebreak the spell ah! or take the damage again. Ah! Spiders, spiders. Next I'm up mad. is Hugh. I'm mad. All right. I move my eye on target to this guy. Okay. Uza. And, uh, and I aim my rifle. Okay. And fire. Plus two. No, it's not a melee weapon. So it's a uh, an eighteen. Gonna hit. Okay. So one d. Yeah, one d eight. Okay. I was gonna say it's tribute. Yeah, one d eight, and yeah. yep. And it's magical plus your dex. Yep. Seven plus two nine, and then I'm gonna shoot him again. It'd be so funny if this misses. I don't think it's gonna. It's a 17. It's gonna hit. All right. He's only a wimpy little wizard. Say non-lethally. He said non-lethally, right? Four, he shoots him in the foot, and it kills him. He ends up gangrene. Six. Are you aiming lethal or non-lethal here? Non-lethally. I said no, I said it was going to be non-lethal. Well, he's down to zero hit points. The spell ends on you, by the way. <laughs> no! Oh, Hugh! You, you just and don't know there were spiders non -lethal everywhere! non-lethal bullet literally shoots him in the knee, and, like, it basically takes his lower leg off, and he just drops to the yeah. ground. And are there spiders in my hair? No. There are, there are no spiders. <laughs> spiders! You, spiders. Your hair looks great. Okay. And <laughs> Thea's going to, like, stabilize him. Just Here, you know, hold a jug. It's okay. This is some good water, and I just start drinking some distilled water. Thea and I make a tourniquet. <laughs> for, for his missing life. I like how the doctor is not doctoring right now. <laughs> well, she, she's got her own problems to deal with. Give me a medicine check. Oh, God. Okay, can I help him? Sure. Okay, cool. I uh, also add a plus four, because she's going to give guidance, because she knows she's not going to be able to do it. Fifteen. Plus four. No, that was with oh, the plus four. Plus a D4, not a plus four. Oh, a D4. Okay. Yes, she gives you guidance. She's like, so 11, just, just tighten it up. 11 plus one, 12. 24. Okay, yeah, you guys managed to turn Remember, I'm good at the medicine. <laughs> I do the medicine good. <laughs> you give him a tourniquet, you keep him stable. Also, are you going to go uh, retrieve your great sword, which is now still in... Well, yeah, really like I kind of don't sword. care about it, but it's good for throwing at people. And the, if I ever lose it, I lose it. So. <laughs> See, I think as I was in my head trying to figure out how you throw this, it's just like 
guts from berserk where it's just yes, like yes that's exactly how or I picture it. was it more like you had a uh like, like a javelin like a claymore and you threw it like a javelin <laughs> okay i want to can i ask no the I, first question? I always picture it over over the yeah. head yeah can i ask him the first question go ahead so yeah about these um illegal weather modifications um uh, uh um yeah uh, Theo has wandered off at this point, by the way. She's doing her own thing now. I have this potion in my hand that can heal you. All you have to do is answer the question that Ed has posed to you. It, we weren't intending to change the weather. That was an unintended side effect. You, that doesn't work in the law. You still get But then you fined. attacked us for no reason. I'm a doctor. I'm yeah, an angel. This is, this is our... And I was after so doing my legal duties of you violating agricultural yeah, law and we can't drive to our job if there's a blizzard yeah I, you interfered have, with atrasor it's business kind of hard to drive doing illegal activities are you gonna plow the roads yeah you're gonna have far worse problems than some snow soon why what did Thank you, you do? give us some answers again i have this potion it will heal you if you talk yeah it doesn't matter if i live or die at this point what did you do you're not gonna survive anyway great now could you please tell me no. Did you bring a dinosaur? Did you bring a dragon? Do we, do we have Do we have anything that can uh, make them talk? <sighs> you know. Okay. Actually, <laughs> oh, I do. We can kill them. Okay. Did you, you prep Zone of Truth today? I have Zone of Truth. Uh, no, I didn't. But just know that if you die, I will bring you back and ask you again. I don't have Zone of Truth. I have that one. I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth on this guy because okay. I didn't use this. Yeah. He has to do a charisma saving throw, right? Yep. Is he really charismatic? No. <laughs> Excellent. Just remember, if he 13. fails, I'll bring him back. Yep, no, mine's a 16, so. Yep. He has to tell you the truth, but he doesn't necessarily have to answer your questions unless you force him. Okay, ask him whatever you want. What did you bring back? We didn't bring back anything. What There's did you unleash? Did you unleash a dragon? We didn't, un we didn't unleash anything. Is there a dragon here? No. No. I flash my badge and try to intimidate. You're using the wrong word, and that's the reason you can get away with it. It's great. I love this. I, yeah, so I flash my badge, and I try to intimidate and say, look. What you, did you just awaken? Tell us, just tell us what what's, what happened here. No, no. What did you awaken? Did you awaken an animal? I rolled a, a 16. No, no, no. We no, were no, doing no. an experiment. What did you awaken? Oh, experiment. Go on. It's, on what? It's, it's, it's our greatest work. You guys are ruining it. Go on. Well, you need to keep your experiments legal. If this works, it won't matter. That's it's legal lovely. Or not. Well, what? it's not working. What, what equipment dying. was in the foot lockers? What is it? Feet. Um. Okay, let's see. explain in detail the experiment. <laughs> You're really good inquisitor. That's kind of his job. Yes. <laughs> I will let you keep. I'll just cast the spell. You do your work. You, aren't you guys feeling it yet? It's all he says. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh, do I feel that one? I think I, I'm currently healing myself. <laughs> My so. rolls are so good. Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen. Uh, you I'm, guys, actually, you guys don't notice. And it. I'm currently healing myself. That's what I'm doing. Emiana, Hugh, and Edward don't notice it. Uh, Thea does because she is. She's basically wandered off from you guys and picked up uh, the spell book that you had thrown and is looking at it. Okay. Do you need because, some healing, Ed? Um, uh, do you guys, do you guys notice that it's I cold, can, right? I can fix myself. Uh, I got it for you. I have okay. It's hands. snowing, Great Thea. How Remember, this point? area is. did you been... feel, Thea? I'm sorry, I was healing. Uh, she's like, this. you know, he's getting really cold, you guys. You notice that you've been in a zone that's been kept around like 40, yeah. like mid 40s. It's getting colder and colder and you're actually starting to see your breath Puff as you're talking. Well, me if my nat one, I was like, well, yeah, we just walked through a whole ton of snow. <laughs> we walked through a blizzard. Of course, it's cold. Should have <laughs> packed my winter coat. God, why do we take her with us? I mean, of course, it's cold. <coughs> no, you see the snow. As she says that, you realize that it's getting colder and you're, colder. You're speaking, and you're making puffs of smoke. It's getting colder. She's not mm. lying to you, Hugh. Hey, you almost dead person. Why is it getting colder? You killed Garleon. He was the one maintaining the um, the effect here. I didn't kill him. Mm. <laughs> that, that was the, not the lock me. is the, the right? control was locks are it? broken. It was it was, like was that was it. It was that okay. The, the control locks on our experiment are broken. There's no stopping it now. 
Yeah, we can fix it. You hear oh. some rumbling, and um, go ahead and everyone give me a dexterity saving throw. God, Ooh, if you well, idiots so wouldn't have attacked us, then this wouldn't have <laughs> this happened. Wouldn't have happened. I'm feeling full, so full of dexterity. Eleven. Saving throw? Yep. Fourteen. Oh, wait, it's a saving throw? Yes. Oh, okay. 20. And you're around me, so saving throw. Wait. Add an extra four, so 18, oh, it's the same. actually. 21. 18. Add four. Wait, 25. what did I say my number was? Eleven. Plus four. Fifteen. 15. 15. Okay, you're all fine. Thea's not, because she's not close to your aura. She can't. Oh, right. She walked away. She uh, takes three points of damage as... <gasps> not Thea! The front of the building you guys were fighting in front of <sighs> is smashed from the inside and just, like, bursts out. Sasquatch. Uh, Wait, wasn't there a person in there? No. They uh, came he, out. They came out. Okay, that he, was... He was the one that Misty stepped out. Um. Yeah, there is a... Uh, large, so it's about, uh, probably a good 20 I'm feet I'm glad tall. I saved my good spell. A, you're used to elementals of different types. This is an elemental you've never seen before, and it's about 15 to 20 feet tall. It, you see an icy core surrounded by a, like, tearing winds, and it looks like it's a blizzard that's contained into a semi-human form. Cool. Okay, can I, can I make a, a statement? For the record? Yep. I think we should have sent the other dudes down here. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're rolling initiative. Yep. Is this... Can I talk to this? Um, yeah, is it an animal? Uh, it's an elemental. It does know one language. Does it Common know... Common or celestial? By nope. Chance? Deep speech? Nope. Abyssal? Dwarvish? Nope. Nope. Elvish? Nope. Elemental? There is actually one spell that's elemental. It's primordial. Blacksmithing. <laughs> the art. The, the language of the metal. Maintenance tools. <laughs> 21. Calligrapher's supplies. <laughs> hey, if I write something that looks kind of primordial, would that count? I don't want to brag, but I got a 14 again for this. Now, my armor allows me to add one to my <gasps> AC once. Yep. So could I be 15? Will that really make the difference or? Uh, your AC would jump by one, not your initiative. Oh, then I'm bolstering that. So yeah, I'm yeah. going up by one. <clears throat> what was yours, Edvard? 19. Cool. Thea's the slow one today. First up is Hugh. Your... Well, she's supposed to be like a warm thing and she's very cold. She's also the closest it's to it. It's a good thing that I healed us before we started attacking. Yeah. Her. Um, am I to assume that my Radiant Stole is still running? Um, it would be, you probably have one last, uh, uh, round of it, because it's okay. been a little bit. But. I got you. Um, first up is Hugh. You are still under Arcane Fortification. Okay. That, you still have one round of it. Okay. And this thing is about 20 feet behind, actually about, about 25 feet behind you, because it's smashed through the wall, so. Okay. Did it take out the door? Oh, it smashed the entire front of that building. Because I feel like Hugh is extra angry now because that was his door. Yep. And I think I think he should get advantage on all of his rolls because of the amount of anger. Well, I'm casting an eye on target anyway. I was going to say, he also showed up here by not just taking out the door, taking out the entire wall. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it, does it by odd happenstance happen to be a magical plant? No. Okay. I want to say, I'm just so angry <laughs> that this could have been avoided. Yep. That I just run at this stupid thing with my great axe. Okay. It's a really great axe. And as I'm running, I cast eye on target at the thing. There's no way this can possibly go wrong. And 18 <laughs> plus 10. <laughs> that's definitely going to hit. All right. So that's and your axe is, uh, give me, uh, remind me what your axe is. That's the plus one axe, right? Yeah. And it's okay. A, it's magical. It's okay. D12, we're good. 12. Yeah. D12 I just needed to know if it was magical yeah. or not. Yeah. He was a little angry. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. So that's seven points of damage. This could be worse. Do it again. Um, you get two attacks. With all the extra plus twos and the plus one in your strength? I rolled a one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. I hit him again. Nat 20. There you yep. go. Oh, that means you get to roll three. Yeah. 3d12 plus your... Plus your six. Wow, that's a uh, brutal. Finally, 
41 oh. points of damage. Excellent <laughs> work. Uh, then um, as a free action, I'm going to try to intimidate it. So after this massive beatdown I lay on it, I roar into its face. <laughs> and it has to make um, a wisdom saving throw against... Well, I'm going to point blank tell you it's immune against to... a five. <laughs> it's, it's, it's immune it's to immune. frighten, but it yells back at you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, okay, never mind. Start of your turn. You're good. Uh, bonus actions would be things like your summoning your spiritual weapon as a bonus action and making an attack on subsequent turns. There are certain spells that are bonus actions, like Mixty Step. Yeah, no, like, I know that um, Spiritual Weapon says mm. it's... Casting time bon- bonus action. That's the thing you have to aim for. Okay. Okay. What, so I could do that as a bonus action? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, you, if you, Unless you drop concentration, you still have it around for one round. Okay, cool. Uh, do, 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 is it my turn, I think? It is Edvard's turn, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to cast Blight. Okay, I need to make a save, right? <laughs> you do. And regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, what what type of save is it? Uh, con. Uh, eleven. And what do I have to do? Nothing. A A fails the save. Okay, so eight d eight necrotic damage on a failed save. Um. Also, I it is draining both moisture and vitality. It's not a plant, so. It's what it says: moisture and vitality. Hey, it, it it's snowy, so it's got it's got moisture. It's got vitality too. It's an elemental. See. Okay, so five, five. Ten. Florida I don't count. Three. Thirteen. Fourteen. One. Okay, give me that. Goes back again. Eighteen. 26. 32. Wait, one more. Yep. 37. Bonus action time. I move my spiritual weapon over to him. Okay. I believe I have to roll for that, right? Yep. Don't ruin it. 16. It's going to hit. Cool. Four. Okay. And channel divinity. 21 necrotic. Okay. How hurt is it? It's it's pretty messed up, but it's an elemental, so... It's still alive, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And it's make its it, turn. Make it hurt. And did we get my dice back? No. No, okay. we have not. Okay. So, Hugh, you're right up on his face. Yep. <laughs> he gets to do this fun thing called... Uh, well, he gets to punch you twice and then breathe at Edvard. He's going to breathe at me and it's going to travel through the air. This sounds like elemental farts. Uh, it's actually a cone of cold. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resolve that one first. Edvard, give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> I feel very safe with a seven. Oh. Do we get extra during this time? No, you're not. You. I didn't move. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, do I actually, if you haven't special? moved, then she has to do it as well. And it's 11. It's still going to fail. Darn it. Sorry, Shanna, you have to roll as well. Does she have to roll as well? Oh, yeah, because the breath will hit both of you. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Add four to your rolls. She already did and failed. I think I failed because I have no constitution. Twelve. You don't act the okay. constitution. You both take 13 points of cold damage and your movement is reduced by 10 feet. Now, Hugh. <laughs> oh, boy. He's going to try to punch you. Uh-huh. Twice. Uh-huh. Uh, I, they're both going to miss, because the <laughs> high was a 13. Yeah, they miss. He's just, like, slamming around you <laughs> angrily like Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, man. That was close. Emiana, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm trying to decide right now. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here, okay? Is he trying to steal your job? <laughs> it took your jeebs. All right, um, so how far away from it am I? Well, you started about like 25 feet, but your movement speed is 15 right now because it was reduced by 10. Or, I'm sorry, 20 feet. You can fly up to it, yes. Can I fly up and do an attack? 
Yes. The sword. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Okay. So I'm going to use my sword, and I'm going to cast Branding Smite on my sword. Okay? Yep. Okay. And I'm already flying, so I got that. I'm just checking to see if I have anything else. Okay. Here we go. I gave it the ability that end ground within 30 feet of it is difficult terrain, but you're flying, flying. so it doesn't matter, and you ignore it. Okay. 26. That's going to hit. 16 points of damage. Wants to do it again? I mean, I don't want to. Um, 17 plus 25. It's going to hit. 9 plus 6. 12, uh, 15 points. Wait, hold on a second here. No, it wouldn't be your turn. It would be uh, M uh, Thea's. I never gave her her turn. Well, she can go after me. We played out a turn. Okay, because I'm on a roll, literally. Okay, yep, go ahead, finish it up. So it's 15 points there. Okay. And then it's two more D6 radiant damage. <coughs> two plus seven points there. Um, and it's obviously dead. he's already visible. Well, then he's going to be extra dead because he also gets eight I pull more up points my phone of radiant and start damage. recording video. <laughs> As you slice, you manage. Normally it's, it's basically just like. I like to imagine that there's so much radiant branding smite coming out of me that my holy light just eviscerates the snowy blizzard. What thing. happens is the, the radiant light around your sword, you actually seem to just like ignore the wind that's ripping around and you slice right into the icy core and slice it in half and stay. But, but you and Fio. Because there's ice flying at me now. Oh, right? yes. Of course. Same with you. Yeah. You're right 40 in there. year old. <laughs> I got video. It's pretty low. You're fine. 17 plus 4 is 21. I'm flying. Constitution. Yep. I don't like So you just have beautiful ice. Nine. Uh, plus 4. 13. 13. 13. 13. She just has beautiful ice. If it meets, it beats. Prisms. You just barely avoid. It's like a halo of it's rainbow. It's like in Frozen when the ice just freezes. Exactly. It's just a rainbow of, of, of little. Um, by this beautiful. point, I did get Uzalore has passed away because, you know, he's bled to death. Did he watch me blow it up? Uh, I think he was a little bit more worried about the fact that he was dying. I picked I picked the elementals' pockets. <laughs> what pockets? You get a you get a <laughs> clump of snow and ice. <laughs> I you take have a it snowball. And I I go. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> How does elemental taste? I build a snowman out of it. No. Um. No. So I go over to Uza and I pick his I, pockets. Uh, okay. Snowman? You find. His, uh, uh, you just find like a spell casting focus. It's a, it looks like a piece of ice, but that is, it's basically like a gemstone that looks like a piece of ice. So basically she found leaded crystal. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm. That was, that's what a spell casting focus is. Cool. I think somebody should pick the other guy's pockets. Uh, that's where... Uh, Thea already is. Oh, good. <laughs> and she already has. She's been trained. Good. She's been literally stealing his spell book as I go as speak. into the building so they were proud. locked in. That's where I was going. Yep. I thought we were going to go next. Yeah, I was just picking pockets first. Um, while we're out there, before we head in, um, do I get a free action? Can I look around see if the ice is just like now melting normally? Uh, yeah. You you also notice that the ambient temperature is going Up. rapidly okay. back to its normal. Hey, guys, we did it. The snow's melting. Hooray. Let's go inside. <laughs> give me, everyone that goes inside, give me an investigation check. Hugh, how do you feel knowing that that um, elemental did a better job on the door than you could ever have done? I mean, it beat me to it. I could have done a good job. I don't know. Uh, I, got a, I, got a, I got a 15. Okay. 18. Okay. You get pretty 18. I don't see anything. <laughs> You're checking out the broken door like, wow, he did a pretty good job. Yeah, I'm investigating the broken door. Oh, look, a mezuzah. Okay, so, thanks also to Thea's insanely high 22. So, she's going to get first pick, and she's just straight up taking their experiment notes because... Of course she is. Yep. I don't want that crap anyway. It's fine. I apparently used up my quota of brain today. It was very adulty you, it was today. All those points you did when you were smashing the elemental, you just used up all that energy. I also was like bringing up legal codes. Like yeah, I was, I was growing to today. You gotta just drink. Gotta she drink, also drink took. I'm experiencing tea. the puberty. Um, well, you see it as Thea's like picking it up and like pocketing it. It's um, 
It's an inor- ornate gold inlaid, like, it, it, they call it a vial, but it's closer to like a decanter. And you realize that its shape is perfect for one of the uh, foam cutouts that you're looking at in the footlocker. Oh, okay. It's a it's a really rare component for spells. Okay. And she's just like pocketing it. I'm so proud. Look at our little girls all grown up. So the stuff at top is what you got. It's mostly money and rare <laughs> materials. And the sp- circles are things that she took then? Yep. But he has Uza's spell book. Oh, no, no. He threw it, he threw it at Garleon. Oh, and so, and so then, she took it. Okay. So she picked it up. So we have 1,300 Atros to trade with and also 250 worth of rare materials. So I think we'll just turn that into Atros. Yep. There is a fire shield, a dimension door. A Those disc- are spells that are in the books. That's why I, I wrote oh, them. Oh, so I was excited. Then I will just cra- I will cross this off. And next month, that's okay. So we have lots of money to share. All right. I'll, I will do some math. Actually, if you might split it off so I can take those, because at some point, Thea will take down those spells and put them in her own spell book. Okay, well, I'm doing math first. Yep. Do, do some damning. Are we giving money to Thea? No. Thea's already stolen what she wants. Okay. <laughs> Only because I'm looking at these numbers like, three will divide very easily. If I put mega four, it's not going to divide easily. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. Thea Thea's stolen what she wanted. She she does not care about the money now. Actually, she, I lied. Um, I'm going to pretend this is a one here instead. Mm-hmm. We find an extra Atros because then the math is easier. We all get 517 Atros. Yep. So Thea is Thea's reading through the experiment notes. She's like, this, this is really fascinating. I'm a thousand there. Me too. I've they, been a thousand there for a while, though. They, they were basically making a... a fusing different types of elementals Ooh, to make I'm a combined there. elementals. This is really dangerous, but actually really, really genius. Do you think you could do it, Thea? Uh, given some time, maybe. But the, the problem is... You shouldn't. Is that, that's... I was like, this is, where, this is where I turn evil. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, it would, it would take some time, but kind of, maybe. But would it serve a practical purpose? Yes. Um, the idea of making a, dyn- a self-creating dynamo out of a... Have you not seen Frozen 2? Well, if I could find a way to combine... I, I have a question. Is there a music that going, ah. No. But I, no, I'm this sounds like you stole you. it from my video game. I'm just saying. You been keeping me awake. I'm just saying if we could combine elements, I could make a self-creating dynamo and power an entire... St- I could... And her, her eyes just go <laughs> wide. <laughs> That's I nice, Thea. That, I don't think that this is safe technology because the amount of controls that they had to put on it and when you saw what happened, we took that guy out. It just broke free. This is super dangerous. Fascinating, but dangerous. So what you're saying is there's a chance. Oh, there's no, always no, a what, chance. No, no, what she's saying Science is we need to work on containment. But if you put it deep enough in the ground, far enough away, and if the surrounding area was inhospitable to its elements, it could be used to power things in cities. So what you're saying is there's a chance. No. There's Thea, a way. I think that we should be very <coughs> careful about it and look into it before we make any rash decisions. But I think it's a great idea. I mean, Let's we, not we tell saw Arky. one of these in Realm doing that. Sh- should so. we? Yeah. Should we tell Arky about this? Well, I think we should head back. It's been about four hours, guys. Yeah, but but but, but what are we going to tell Arky? We need to work on a story. Well, we're going to tell him what happened. We're just not going to tell him we got all the money. Well, well don't tell him about the spell books because then he's going to take exactly. it. Exactly. We just said that we stopped It's evidence. Elemental. It's evident. Yeah, exactly. See, there how, was legal wrongdoing. See, how they fast burnt, can you the copy evidence. the notes? I think the experiment notes, really fast, actually. Good. You do that on the way back. All right, let's walk. And we, burn it. And then we'll burn it before we get it. Cause no, we have to give them evidence. Oh, no, no. We, no, I mean, because we don't want them to have the evidence. I have an idea. Yes. I can change the uh, notes a little bit so that way it wouldn't work. <laughs> and we can hand Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, because I don't want them to think they can do this. Yes, I, I think exactly. we need to think about ethics here and morals. That's what I'm saying. We can't give we them to them. We don't want this to happen again because there could be we evil can't give people on the inside. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm Thea's saying. good at altering books. No, no. Like altering this. isn't going to be good enough because then they We're might make something worse. We're trying to fix that. Here. We're trying to fix that. So Thea's like, Thea's just riding destroy on his shoulders yeah. and just Emily, like. I think we need to actually destroy the book because modifications could be worse. They're going to ask for evidence. The evidence is the burned house. It, it's demolished. We don't have to tell them there was a spell book. Oh, it all got destroyed. But I don't like lying. No, I don't mind. But it's for the good of the world. <laughs> we had to kill Cthulhu. You don't like killing, but we had to kill Cthulhu. So are we not going to hand them this one? And it's the altered book she's already, like, making. 
technically I don't think they can be Thea trusted killed with this. Cthulhu, so. I don't think <laughs> they can be trusted with this. How persuasive am I? Uh, do a persuasion check. See, this is where Emiano I'm a people w- person. I'm pretty good. Emiano would just say it's a party vote, so you guys vote you want to do. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go. I don't care. You do what you want to do. Cause I'm I got a twenty two on persuasion. I have no issues just burning. So I just I, I persuaded. Burning, which I didn't exist. Poor yep. Thea. All that writing for no reason. Oh no oh. no, she has it. But like the extra copy. She made oh. a new book. Oh. Oh, I mean, if you want, they won't could, take hers. Oh, I could damage a lot of this fact, this manufactured copy. So it just kind of like. No, 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 really keep yours. It's yours. It's yours. Oh, keep no, it. she has the real experience. And she's saying she can light it on fire so it's beyond, re- like, reading. Yes, please. Do please. that. Yes. So she's, like, she's just, like, burns it. And so, like, it's all, like, battered up like it had been destroyed. See, this is, like, no, 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 she doesn't burn it. She, she freezes, like, it. She makes it, like, frozen it, and shattered. It's important to take, like, the notes from the Nazis, see what they did, but we don't want to get in the wrong hands. So we have, we have to keep it safe with us. Exactly. Okay. So, good. It's all shattered. It's been stabbed by ice. It's yep. destroyed. It's wet. It's waterlogged. Perfect. All yep. right, let's go. We're on our way back to Arky, mm-hmm. and I'm walking this time because there's no snow. Yep. Well, the snow is quickly melting. It's kind, of, mel- it's kind of muddy. So I'm not rolling. That's my point. I'm not rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm walking. Like, actually, do you want a panda bear in the mud? No. No. And it's not that, it's is, not that kind of a party. No. So we get back. What happens? Well. Hey, first, Arky. First things first, I check on Meryl, and I check on my kitty cat. Uh, Meryl is fine. She's just, she just has the cat in her lap and she's just been sitting there. How's the cow? Sparkles. Oh. Are you going to check on Rufus? How drunk is, no, I'm checking. It's my cow. How's, how's the cow? Oh, how drunk is my cow? How drunk is my cow? The cow definitely opened up the barrel in your absence because his rule was he was only allowed to drink it when you guys were stopped. Oh, no. And we were stopped for a long time. He is time. definitely no, drunk. No, no. <laughs> Rufus, what did you do? Uh, no, and I'm sitting here. I, I just discovered he brought... What did you put in back here with my cow? He snuck it on, obviously. He's, he's he a, doesn't have he the right equipment. I just rolled the percentage of how much of that barrel he drank in your I, absence. Uh, oh. Edvar, do you want to tell him what the numbers rolled? That little cow just drank 92% of a barrel. Oh, no. He had a good, what, six hours? Um, oh, it's it about four. It's, well, no, because it was, you know, oh, it took us oh, like four to get there. We need, and it took us a while to get need back. To make sure he just lies down on his side. Oh, he's already there. He is already completely <laughs> drunk. What did you do through the night. to my cow? He, I didn't do anything. You to the cow. brought he, this he, booze. He made some choices on his own. Well, uh. Oh, come here. Come here. He might have alcohol poisoning. Um, Emmy, can you can barrel, you fix him? This barrel. Um, can so you fix him? It was ninety two percent fuller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Last approve we booze drinking like this. If I if I'm going to do like lesser restoration, I want to also cure his alcoholism. He's not going to remember a thing. That's for sure. Well, but lesser restoration helps heal like diseases. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to call alcoholism so a disease. Poor I'm gonna. I, I don't mind if my cow isn't an alcoholic yes, anymore. I, I cast lesser restoration and I also heal him. All thank the you, <laughs> thank you, Amy, yes. because it is my cow. He still has one. Your drinking buddy is my cow. Yeah, well, I can only do so much. Yeah. You Thank need, you. You need to to drink some fluid. So here's some nice distilled water. I just put water in a bucket for him to drink. <laughs> Poor cow. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing we tell everyone what we yep. did. And Our Candor and his party are, have actually gotten back before you. They didn't find anything. Well, the snow is gone, so you're welcome. Hey, Arky. Y- yes? We, we solved your problem. I, I did. We also found some lawbreakers. Here. They were, they were, they attacked us when when I I called them in the name of Atrasor to account for their breaking of agricultural laws. They attacked us. I sliced an elemental in half and killed it. Did, they were doing. That's why I'd like to apologize that that spell book has destroyed ice and water damage. I mean, elemental. Well, definitely not. Well, we'll definitely look through it, see if we can find anything else and. We, we try to interrogate the man. All we seem to get is that they were doing some form of experimentation. I well, told him I had, I, I lied, Archie, um, Archie, whatever your name is now. Um, I, I lied to him, and I feel terrible about it because I told him that I had a potion that would make him heal if he gave the straight answers. But it was just one of my empty jars filled with distilled water. <sighs> I feel better now. I feel better now. <laughs> uh, d- was he injured in the act of? 
uh, arresting? He attacked yes. us. It was self-defense. Yes. Oh, okay. Well. Yes. Right and on. he had an accomplice as well. But I lied okay. to him. Well, I that, lied to him. That dude our That's, That happens. I still have the flask okay. with this potion here. I'm with gonna, just some water. It's just water. He, you can tell like. I, 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 I'll, 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 I'll talk to uh, yeah. Our candor is like, his hand is on his head because he's like, this is supposed to be simple. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can command you. To, okay. Edvard, I'm going to need you to just do a full write up and just write up everything that happened. So that we also we did can... not find any money. It's been, there's do been, a deception check. There's been a lot of lying today. Um, what? Emmy, what are you doing right now? I break under. <laughs> well, just, 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 just do a deception check. Do you, do you see what I'm doing? I break do under pressure. I can't. I, just, you just I can't don't. lie. You just keep your mouth shut. You don't have to lie. You Emmy, to. just stop talking. Just. <laughs> Miss Piggy noises erupt. I love she's <laughs> zone of truth herself. Basically. <laughs> oh, I rolled a dirty twenty for deception. He rolled a two on insight. <laughs> I have it's, not, it's not that he. He knows you're lying. He just doesn't care. Because honestly, it's Atrosaur. Yeah, the lawbreakers are the problem. Yeah, the money to, is not. If and, they wanted to, they could have just. And Miana has to excuse herself because she doesn't want to <laughs> cause an issue. So she goes, well, "Enjoy your book, bye." <laughs> I'm glad you took care of it, and I'm glad it. Uh, you know, this is actually easier. Just make sure you write up a full report. Since you're in, with Vade, you also will need to just write up a report on what happened, and we can file them together. Yeah, like, he's rubbing do his I head. Do I need to do any well, paperwork for hey, Actually, I didn't save anybody. Actually, you're, you're a doctor. Do you have any aspirin? This is going to be a very long day. Yeah, come over to the car and don't ask me any questions. He just, like, comes over yeah. and he's like, just, just give me some aspirin, please. I'm called the duct tape wizard. Do you want to see my gift? Um, just give it to him just, and leave. Just, just let him leave. Just let the man go get in his car. And I take one of my duct day. tape pieces and I put it on his head and I kiss it and it doesn't actually all better. You feel better in half the time and half the cost. Thank you. Whatever that it's means. It's just like, he literally as he's walking by, he, he like pats Mural on the shoulder and goes, I'm, I'm glad they're yours to deal with. And he just goes back to his vehicle. Did I mention that I... Killed the elemental. Okay. Like, it was really cool. I was lit up all. And you, you, it was my day. Now. It was my day. Okay. Hugh and Emiano might not get it. Edvard, I think you know exactly what this is. As you get high enough up, and your family would have experienced this plenty of times, where even if it's something they did not directly handle, the just swarms of paperwork that come with anything, mm -hmm. you know that he's going to be in for one long-ass ride of just, like, filling in a lot of paperwork. I think Hugh gets it a little yeah, bit with his bounty hunting. Yeah, yeah like, Anita does all of your paperwork. Yeah. Well, in the yeah, early actually, days no, when I, it was that, just next him. Thing yeah. I was going to say, like, uh, how's Anita's load right now? Could we have her we type it We can call her. Yeah, can we call? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Is, can Anita. we call her and have her type it up Anita. for us? Anita. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I've been busy I can't with remember you guys. Voice, she hasn't had it. Yes. Let's, let's, let's have you her type it up. You have more paperwork coming your way, darling. No, no, she needs to type it up for us. You're making more paperwork, just, apparently. Just, yeah, if you send me the notes, I'll make sure all the fi the forms are proper. Thank Who you. knows the uh, process? Needs sent, need sent to Vade and Atrosaur. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Care How are RP. those floral um, pillows working out? Oh, they're so comfy. I have one actually against the back of my oh, chair. Wonderful. How about the pink wall? Oh, Hughes was saying I gotta go by. I saw it. I know it's there. <laughs> we added some things since I, then. Yeah. What? what? Floral what? pillows. No, I tossed them into no, Anita's room. Um... Uh -huh. And she's, her yeah, they're absolutely still in her apartment. There's, <laughs> you know, shopping. Anyway, so good success. Let's continue on, guys. So, hey, team, turn on that sound system. Boom, that boom, bitch and sound boom, system. Boom, 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 boom. Get, boom, get my spinners boom. going. Oh, yeah, here we go, guys. Get the lights, and the lights <laughs> blink like with. The music. Oh my, yeah, Ooh. that's right. My car needs to get a tramp stamp next in the back. Here, let me let me play a good song for you all here. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, ah, I'm ah. feeling it. Mm, mm, mm. That's right. All right, everyone, that'll do it for this mm. week for Danger and Dice. Thank you so much for listening. We will talk to you in two more weeks. Bye. And if not, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, and all that jazz. That's right. <laughs>